All right, take a look at this picture. I took this picture in India a few years ago in the city of Jodhpur. Jodhpur, India. Man, that is a beautiful city. If you get a chance to go to India, make sure you visit the Blue City. Okay, Jodhpur is called the Blue City because, you know, it's blue. Everything's blue. The the all the buildings are painted blue so it's uh, it's just gorgeous and then in the middle of the city on the hill there's just this massive massive structure uh, so so my question for you is what would you call this in English what would you call this huge thing on the hill would you call it a castle or a palace or maybe a fort Okay, so, so what's the difference between a castle, a palace, and a fort? Hmm, they're sort of similar, right? Well, they're similar, but uh, there are some differences. So I want to I wanna discuss those differences, okay? So when I think of a palace, I think of uh, a place designed for luxury, right? Uh, like, have you seen the movie Aladdin? Uh, in that movie, Princess Jasmine lives in, uh, in a palace. Okay, so when I imagine a palace, that's what I think of. Like a really, just uh, a beautifully designed building with, uh, with well, for rich people or important people uh, to live in luxury, right? They can live in luxury. May, they might have some servants or something like that. Okay, so that's what I think of when I, when I think of a palace. But when I think of a castle, I think of a place designed for safety, right? For protection. You know, most castles have huge walls and towers. Okay, so it's it's almost more of like a military thing. You know, if uh, if people hate you in the world and they're going to attack you, well, then uh, you're probably going to be safer in a castle than in a palace. Now, also, when I think of a castle, I think of Europe in the Middle Ages. Okay, Europe in the Middle Ages. That's where most of the castles are, right? Most of the castles are in Europe. It's sort of weird to have a castle outside Europe. You know, it's just sort of strange. You know, we, I remember when I went to Mexico two years ago? I'm not sure if I made a video about this, but, uh, but there was a castle in Mexico City. Right, right in Mexico City, a castle. And that was, <laughs> that sort of felt a bit strange to me. I was looking at this thinking, what's a castle doing in Mexico? You know, when I think of Mexico, I think of tacos, tequila, tropical fruit, you know, warm weather, beaches. What's a castle doing in the middle of Mexico? <laughs> so that was a bit strange. So when I think of, of castles, I think of Europe and I think of the Middle Ages. Okay, do you know what the Middle Ages means? Um, or it can be called the medieval period. Okay, the medieval period. Uh, that is a period of time in the middle. Okay, in the middle. Uh, what In the middle of what? What year are we in? Okay, we are in year 2020. 2020 years since what? Since, since Jesus, right? So if you go back to year zero, that's around the time of Jesus. Okay, so if we take from Jesus till now, what would be the middle? Okay, well, the middle would be somewhere around year 1000, right? So around that period is what we call the Middle Ages or the medieval, the medieval period. Okay, it's, I mean, it's, it's a long period. It's like a few hundred years before, a few hundred years after that. But it's that sort of, that sort of period in the middle of, of, of history, sort of. Okay, now what about fort? What about the word fort? What is a fort? Well, when I think of the word fort, I think of uh, a strategic position for the purpose of defense. Okay, so, you know, if I'm worried about someone attacking me, I'm going to set up, a, set up a fort or set up a lot of forts around the area. Okay, sort of a way for defense. Like if you think about the word fort, right? Fort is just a small word. But can you think of other words that have the word fort inside? Well, I can think of a few words. Fortify fortification, fortress. Okay, so all of those words are sort of related and they, they have the idea of like, of like building something for the purpose of defending yourself, right? That's what a fortress, a fortress is like a big thing to... Now, now a fort can be small or it can be big. 
Okay, uh, it can be really small. It can be, you know, you could make a fort in your living room. You know, did you ever make forts when you were a kid? When I was a kid, I loved making forts with our, like, uh, living room furniture or forts out of pillows or something. So kids love making forts in their living room, in their bedroom, uh, in the backyard. You know, they just make forts all over the place. I, I loved forts when I was a kid. Okay, so, so forts can be small, but forts can be huge too. I, I went to a fort in India that was uh, massive. Okay, it was called Kumbhagar Fort. And the walls, I mean, they were huge and they were, I think it was like over 30 kilometers to walk around the walls. Okay, so these walls looked sort of similar to the Great Wall of China. So you could walk, I think you could walk all around the walls, but uh, but 30 kilometers, boy, that would take you all day to walk that far. Okay, so I didn't walk all around, but uh, I walked a little bit, you know, around the walls. And uh, yeah, huge, huge place. Okay, so, so forts can be small, forts can be big. Now, out of these three words, castle, palace, and fort, the word fort, I would say, is just the most general, the most generic word. So, I mean, forts aren't just confined to Europe, okay? You know, you could have a fort anywhere around the world in any period of history, okay? And forts can be made out of different materials. Like here in Canada, there are actually a lot of forts. The early settlers, when they came over from Europe, they built, uh, they built forts out of wood. Okay, so if you go to different places in Canada, I'm not sure, did I show you any forts on my Canada trip? I don't think I did, unfortunately, but uh, maybe I can take you guys to a fort here in Canada. So a fort, you know, here in Canada would look very different, you know, to a, to a fort in India, let's say. Okay, so forts, the word, like I said, the word fort can mean a lot of different things. It just means like sort of a, a strategic position for the purpose of, of defense. Okay, so so that's a fort. Uh, now, have you heard the word citadel? Have you ever heard that? A citadel. What's a, what's a citadel? Well, again, when I think of a citadel, I think of the old part of a European city. Okay, most European cities are sort of the same. When you go into the middle of the city, usually that's the old that's called like the old city or the, the city center, right? And uh, very often there's like maybe a castle and a tall church and some other tall buildings sort of in the middle. And then surrounding those buildings is a wall. Okay, and then outside the wall is the rest of the city. Okay, so a citadel is usually sort of a small place. I don't know, it's just, it's not that big. But it's big enough for a few buildings and sort of maybe some shops and stuff like that. And then outside the walls, that's where, you know, the city has sort of expanded. And, uh, you know, it's a, a city can be huge. Like, like most of the big European cities that I've been to have a citadel. That's where all the tourists go, right? The tourists are interested in seeing the old church or the, you know, the big castle or whatever. So that whole area it can be called the citadel. Okay, the citadel. Now here in Canada, you know, we don't we don't have citadels. There's no citadel here in Calgary. But actually, uh, when I went out east, remember last summer I went out east and I stopped in Quebec City, and actually there it felt like Europe to me. So there it did have a citadel, right? It had some old buildings, and I think there was a wall around that. Okay, okay. So so I guess citadel. You can have a citadel here in Canada, but but usually when I think of Citadel, I think of Europe. Okay, so let's get back to the picture. Um, now, which, which word do you think after our discussion, uh, which word would be the best to describe this, this uh, great, awesome structure in Jodhpur? Would it be a castle? Well, actually a castle it sort of has a, a very specific look to it. So I don't think castle is the right word. Now, actually, in my next lesson, I'm going to teach you some castle vocabulary, okay? Some, uh, you know, the different parts of a castle. So that'll be my next lesson. But, uh, but you know what a castle looks like, right? A castle sort of, it sort of has that look. You know, I don't know how to describe it. But this is different, right? So, so I would say this is not a castle. Um, now, what about a palace? Well, yeah, I think you could describe this as a palace. You know, if this were called a palace, 
I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't think anything, I wouldn't have any second thought about it. But uh, what I would say is this looks really rugged to me. You know, it looks too rugged to be a palace. You know, a palace is just sort of, like I said, a beautiful thing. This looks, I mean, this looks intimidating. You know, like if you're walking around the city, no matter where you are in the city, if you look up, this thing just dominates the skyline. And, uh, and at night, they light it up. So it's like a yellow, it's sort of got a golden glow. You know, so, so if you go out at night to eat, and there are a lot of rooftop restaurants. So what I did every night, I think I was there for two or three nights, I, I went to a restaurant with a, like a rooftop and I just sat and ate my food and just 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 sort of uh, absorbed the just the I don't know I don't know what word to use the majesty of this it was uh, it's one of the most impressive structures I've ever seen in my life so like I said if you have a chance to go to Jodhpur you got to check uh, you got to check out this is it a palace or a castle well again I, I don't I wouldn't use those words what about a citadel what about a citadel? Well, you know, you have sort of the city around it, right? So you might think it could be called a citadel. But remember, a citadel sort of has, has buildings in it, has several different buildings, and it has a wall around it. This doesn't really have a wall around it. It's all just sort of one big piece. Okay, so I think the word citadel is not the best word for this. So that only leaves us with one word, right? And that is the word fort. Okay, so that's, I think that's the best way to describe this. And if you go to India, you will see that these are called forts. Okay, they call them forts there. And uh, there are a ton of forts. When I was in India, I, I think I saw probably at least a dozen. I mean, like I visited, I went into those. I went into this one, you know, just, just spectacular structures, you know, built hundreds of years ago and uh, they're very well preserved. Okay, so I went to a bunch of these. I would say maybe about a dozen or so of these. They're very uh, great places for photography. Okay, so this was fun going here, taking pictures of this place and other places around India. So hopefully I can get a chance to go back to, uh, to these places. But yeah, but these are forts, okay? So remember, uh, a fort is just sort of like a, a fortress. So actually, maybe the word fortress would be better even then fort. When I hear the word fortress, I think of like a huge, you know, a huge place on like a hill, which is exactly this, right? So, so yeah, I would call this, I would call this a fortress. So that answers your question. Hope that uh, helps you sort of distinguish between those three words or four words, actually. Castle, palace, fort, and uh, and citadel and like i said in my next video i'm going to teach you some castle vocabulary so stay tuned for that hey i want to know have you ever visited a castle or a palace or a, a fort or a citadel what's the coolest place like that that you've ever visited man i've had a chance to visit so many of these places in my life i've been fortunate to you know i've seen you know forts and palaces in india and Germany, so many in Germany. You know, if you take a train through Germany, you just see dozens and dozens. I wonder how many castles Germany has. Probably, probably thousands. I don't know, at least hundreds, hundreds and hundreds. So yeah, I've had a chance to see some of these cool places around the world. But I want, I want you to tell me what's the coolest place you've ever been like this. Let me know down in the comments. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.